Our next trick we're going to look at with derivatives is this thing called implicit differentiation. And it really centers on this idea that the derivative of y is dy dx, or the derivative of y with respect for x. And the reason that's going to be important is some equations can't be solved for y. Or maybe they can't be solved easily for y. But we can still find the derivative or dy dx. We can still find out how fast y is changing with respect to x, or what is the slope of that tangent line at any point. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to use the chain rule on y. Because, as we said at the beginning, the derivative of y is dy dx. So for example, if I have x squared plus 1 over y equals e to the 3x minus y squared, this is not going to be easy to solve for y, but we can still take the derivative using implicit differentiation. In other words, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of 1 over y, actually, let's rewrite that. 1 over y is really y to the negative 1 power. So when I bring the negative out front, we get negative y to the negative 2. But then we're taking the derivative of y using the chain rule. We have to multiply by its derivative. The derivative of y is dy dx. That's going to equal the derivative of e to the 3x is 3e to the 3x, using the chain rule there, minus the derivative of y squared is 2y. But then we have to take the derivative of y, which is dy dx. And so when we take the derivative of both sides, we end up with this ugly expression. Remember, our goal is to figure out what is dy dx. So we're going to try and solve for that dy dx. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to move dy dx to one side and the rest to the other. So let's move the dy dx's to the right. I'm going to add 2y dy dx to both sides. And then the 2x does not have a dy dx, so I'll subtract it to the other side. And so now I've got 2y dy dx minus y to the negative 2 dy dx equals 3e to the 3x minus 2x. So we've moved the dy dx's to one side, everything else to the other side. And the reason we do that is we can factor out the dy dx. In other words, we take this common factor of dy dx and factor it out, leaving behind 2y minus y to the negative 2. And on the other side, we have 3e to the 3x minus 2x. Our whole goal was to get that dy dx alone and solve for. We can do that really quick by dividing by the 2y minus y to the negative 2 on both sides. And so to get to our final answer, we will divide to isolate the dy dx. And we get that dy dx is equal to the fraction 3e to the 3x minus 2x 
over 2y minus y to the negative 2. That is our derivative, which we solved for implicitly. In other words, we took the derivative of both sides of the equation. And whenever we had a y, we used the chain rule. The derivative of y is dy dx. Then we can solve for the dy dx. Some of these problems get a little more interesting, too, when there's a product of x and y. And that's the topic of our next video.